hi guys welcome back to our channel so today in this video uh, we are going to talk about one of the interview questions like it is related to coding on arrays and this question was asked by our client which is apple so so all the uh, rounds used to be online so he used to bring these two lines in the chat window so input and the output should be in this way so for and he used to explain the logic as well so what he what he what it does is what we have to do is so this is a given input array so if you take 8 and towards 8 11 is the highest number so it got replaced with 8, 11 similarly for 9 and 5 11 is the highest number towards its right so it got replaced with 8 for, but for 11 if you see there is no higher number than 11 towards its right so it got replaced with minus 1 similarly for 6 and 1 7 is the highest number towards its right so it got replaced with 7 and for 7 there is no highest number then towards its right so it got replaced with minus one for six as there is no element towards its right it got replaced with minus one so this was the question simple question looks simple but uh, when we go to write the code uh, we may end up uh, using two for loops but the requirement was to use only one for loop so let us see how we can achieve this firstly what we need uh, we need the size of the array let us see as size equal to arr dot length length so we will get the size of the array then what we can do is uh, we can initialize one max from right element like one variable which we call it max from right that equals to we will assign the last element of the array to it so size okay size minus one so in this in correct scenario the max from right element would be always we are assigning it as six okay why i'll, I'll explain you and the last element would always be minus one why because there is no element towards its right so it would always be minus one so we are replacing it with minus one directly we don't need to iterate and check for that because for six there is no element towards the right so this will always be minus one so here the trick is we actually need to iterate in the backward direction okay so let us see how we can do i'll use normal for loop for int i equals size minus 2 because we are already replacing the last element with minus 1 and i greater than or equal to 0 i minus minus so this is our for loop so what logic we are going to write in the for loop let us see so first we'll be initializing one temp element which is arr of array of i okay yeah so now what we'll do we'll be replacing if this is the logic we write max from right is greater than arr of i which is the current element if the max from right is greater than it then directly we will replace that current element with max element okay fine if it is not then what we'll do else directly replace as there is no higher number towards its right with minus one then what we can do this is the logic we have written and finally we need to update the max element as well so max from right if it is less than temp that is current element then max from right would be the current element i mean the temp element equals to temp What happened? Max from right equals okay. So that's it, guys. We save this, and after that, if we iterate it and we print, we can print. I'm just using the normal for loop here again. Like int. 
is equal to zero. I less than AR dot length, or we can directly use size I plus plus. We can directly use this out here. So now if we see the error of I. Now let us run. Okay. What happened? Okay, now let us run this and see. If you see, this is the output what we want 11, 11, 11. So if you see 11, 11, 11, minus 1, 7, 7, minus 1, minus 1. So this is the logic that we, that the client was expecting actually. He wants us to iterate it from the back end as the last element would always be minus 1. We'll be getting the last highest number. We'll be checking it with the current element. If it is greater than that, we'll replace or else we'll replace the current element with minus one, and we'll be updating the max from right. So this is one approach. This is what the actual uh, thing that our client was expecting. But there are other ways as well to achieve this. Uh, you can use this approach as well. Like we can use uh, two for loops here. I'll write the logic and show you. And here is the approach to code, guys. Uh, so what we will use is uh, we'll be using two for loops. So every element uh, will be checked with the next element towards its right. And once we find a match that is greater, it is the highest number. Then we'll directly replace the current element with the highest number and we'll print this out. So to test it out, if you want to run, we need to comment out the earlier logic because this would have changed the array already okay comment save and let us run this now to so see how oh, we'll be getting our desired output again with the same approach so what we are doing we are using one more in temp variable temp one so for the outer for loop we'll every time we'll reinitialize the temp one with minus one and for the inner for loop we'll be starting with with the eighth element we'll be incrementing the count so we'll be having a check if temp one is greater than arr of i now arr of j that is the second for loop and if it is greater than the outer element then we'll be storing that in the temp variable we'll complete this check with for every element in the second for loop then we'll directly reassign the element with the temp one if at all this condition fails that means that is the highest number or that is the last element and minus one will be replaced with the current element so this was the second approach but our, our client was not, not considering this approach because a lot of people wrote this but he was not happy uh, he was looking out for this approach the, what we have discussed in the first approach like in the, within a for one for loop i directing it from the back uh, we need to get the solution so i hope uh, this video helps you can i'll ping the code in the description as well so i hope this video helps you in your interview preparation this video will definitely help uh, candidates with uh, two with two plus years of experience till six plus years of experience because he was asking the same question for most of the candidates uh, so replacing array elements with the highest number towards its right that's it in this video and uh, thank you for watching do subscribe if you haven't subscribed our channel bye for now